drippin'. I'ma keep back, take a listen. Can you tell me why? Tell me why you mad today? Mad today, mad today. Can you tell me why you mad today? Mad today, mad today. Tell me why you mad? Hey, trying to cash my check. I was chilling at the workplace, too much stress. Had the mop in my hand, could have lost my step. No stock in the kid, but I took my chance. Yeah, big Billy on the road for a high shot. I remember mama's cooking in the crock pot. 150 on my neck, like no sir. Yeah, I wear the same jacket, got no fur. Hey, boy, I came from the wig. Off Perry Lane Road, gotta hang with the clicks. See the kicks on the phone line, gotta reminisce. Made it through the pain, yeah, we had to take the hits. Uh, I was pulling up the Willys for the poor child. They gon' have to feel me till my heart stop. I'm a weird town, baby, all day. Crazy how everything changed. Uh, going up like a mansion. I ain't got no reason to be trippin'. I'ma keep back, take a listen. Can you tell me why? Tell me why you mad today? Mad today? Mad today? Can you tell me why you mad today? Mad today? Mad today? Tell me why you mad? Hey, homie, why you mad, bro? You the case so far, where you at, though? I know you in the game, feeling like you pristine. Yeah, bitch pulling up with the whip clean. Is you mad, cause you watching from the sideline? Is you mad, cause you came up on the stop sign? Nah, brother, I've been chilling, it ain't my time. Trying to pop, but I had to see the guidelines. Hey, why you mad today? Oh, five skirt, no jazz today. I ain't had no money in the bag today. Man, you ain't no point in being sad today. Uh, I was 15, cranking out raps in the room. Talking five years later, guy had me on the move. I was in the store cleaning mats with a vacuum. God spoke to me, why? Tell me why you mad today? Mad today? Mad today? Can you tell me why you mad today? Mad today? Mad today? Tell me why you mad today? Mad today? Mad today? Can you tell me why you mad today? Mad today? Mad today? Tell me why you mad. Might want to hit me in the face. You do, I can tell. Well, why don't you do it? Why don't you? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Yo! Don't play cheap. Can't waste no time sitting back. Get off your feet. It feel like time been rolling. Whipping through the city on the west side. Yeah, I'm done with the stressing in the best times. I'm gonna pull it to the beach with the blue skies. Came from the week, yeah, it's a new time. Time, let me take it back. I was sleeping in my class. Yeah, everything done change in the flesh. Yeah, I ain't worried about the rally or the race. Yeah, that's cheap. I'm worth way more than my chair last week. Taking in game from all the OGs. Learning this life ain't really about me. Yeah, yeah. Slow down, take a breath. Don't forget your bless. Stop trying to hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome on in, Amin. Light. I appreciate y'all showing up. I'll be on soon. Just give me one moment. Thank you. Sitting on a plane and the seat's too tight, thank God I'm in H-Town. Don't play cheap, got my girl in the car with the gas on E. Riding down the block, we gon' ride to the beat. There's so many things that we gotta see. Let me take it back, way before I wrote these raps. Yeah, I'ma keep my faith in the valet. Can't take my drive like a valet. I was cooped up, uh, now I'm souped up. I got a good guy, I don't need good luck. Don't let that stress on you. God only wants what's best for you. Slow down, take a breath. Don't forget your bless. Stop trying to figure out what's next. Let that weight fall off your chest. Know you're worth it. Don't play cheap. Oh, nah. Sitting back, get off your feet. Don't play cheap. Can't waste no time. Sitting back, get off your feet. Know you worth and don't play.
What's up, guys? Sorry, just reading the verse for the day, you know. Yeah, I gotta start off the day with God. To breach through the facade. How's it going, everybody? How is it going? Sorry, this is from a uh, little tutorial I made today. Don't mind this. This looks like garbage. So last we left off, we were trying to replicate How do you do OBS Studios? I uh, I downloaded it and I clicked uh, the, the stream button. Now there's a lot more that goes into it. I use After Effects for the, the beginning portions of the stream. And when I'm, uh, you know, using the restroom or something, I have a BRPC. All right, guys, let's change the song before we get copyright strike. Um, why you got only seven shortcuts on your test desktop while I have a hundred? Ah, you know what it is, man? I reformatted my, reformatted, sorry, my PC at the beginning of this week, so. We have a bit of a slow start this week in regards to uh, content and progression. So, with that being said, hopefully, right, hopefully we can get some assets done. I'm currently logging into Miro so you guys can see what I'm trying to replicate here. Please turn off music, but I love the music. It keeps me calm and collective and on track. It's louder than usual. Okay. How about that? Is that is that better for you guys? What about there? Is that better? But yeah, this is... Yes. Sweet. But yeah, we are trying to replicate um, something like this for the leaves in uh, thick trees, right? So yesterday, we left off and I was trying to... Sorry guys, I didn't get much done, by the way, as you can obviously tell. I had to go and had a lot of kid problems. Not that my kid is a problem, I just had to take care of her and make food and do stuff like that but yesterday i had a hard time getting these to work appropriately because the idea is is that we take those and we kind of copy and paste them all up this area and then we're going to retopologize it right i can't stay here long i have something to do what is that? What do you have to do? And also, it's, it's fine if you can't stay for long. I'm just interested. Um, Lightation says, use 3D modals. I used 3D models, not modals. But yeah, that's what we're doing here, Light, is we're creating 3D models for the game. We kind of have this already. But even this, I feel like could be a little bit, a little bit different. I don't think it's consistent with something like this. I got a client. Ooh, did you get it from Fiverr? Is your Fiverr doing, doing well? Or since you started, I know you started what prior, the beginning or the end of last year. We're going to try to sculpt some today and means we're going to be moving around a lot chat. <laughs> I am seven. I don't know how to spell. It's all right. We all start somewhere lightation. Yeah. From there. That's sick, dude. I'm happy to hear that you're, you're getting a list of clientels. How many have you had? Just one singular one? Now, if I can only... Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is with this. Um, but it kind of upsets me because I have to change the working area every time. 
whole area. How do I set that to that? I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, you got two. Congratulations, man. That's sick. That's sick. You're a regular working lad now. How do you even get paid, though? Ooh, this is way off. Or at least I can't select. Sorry, guys. There we go. Thanks, I know. Two clients are actually low-key huge for a start. Wow, yeah, he does... Um, so he does the Discord bot and a lot of the Discord management. Lightation says, Okay, I know this sounds crazy, but... What? But what? I waited four months. Eh, it's still not that bad of a wait, my friend. Could have been longer. That's super sick that that happened so quick for you, though. Um, we're going to go ahead and solo this. If we can, come on, let me solo you. Why won't you let me solo you? What is up with that? Crazy. <clears throat> this sounds crazy, but I have own a job. So you, you, you have a job, Lightations. And by the way, guys, I'm going to be looking down here. So when I'm talking... I'll be looking up at your guys' response. I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, do this a lot unless I want to get some exercise in the day. And I don't know about y'all, but that's not why I, uh, when I signed up to be a game developer, it's because I wouldn't have to exercise every day. I'm not even kidding. What, what, what's, what's the job, Lightation? You can't just leave us in suspension, suspension like this. Suspension. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what we can do in this model, if it'll work, as you can tell. Maybe this is a sign. Oh. There we are. Let's zoom in. Okay, I can change that. Sweet. Nice gra uh, graphic pad. Thank you. It's a Canvas 13. They're very inexpensive. I had a huge like monitor one. It used to be like my second monitor, but it was just a pain to move around and I can take this wherever I go, you know? They even have a, uh, this plugs into your phone too. So if you have Photoshop on your phone or on um, an iPad, you can use this to draw on it, I believe. <coughs> corn pop, we sell popcorn, ooh. Like you take actual pop or corns from the popcorn or the whatever it is then. So you actually make like homemade popcorn or do you just get popcorn from the store and sell it? Paid ten dollars. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Alright, we don't want to do that. Let's see here. We want to do more cuts into this than we do anything. I might actually have to um, take this and kind of canvas 13. It's with a K here. I'll show you. Let's uh, switch to work really quick. I will show you my friend. They're Huey on tablets. Huion. Yeah, check out Huion. They're very expensive here, but uh, pen display. Yeah, that's a pro. That's why. Yeah, right now these are selling for three forty nine. I got mine on, uh, and this is a pro, by the way, which means you have. If if you haven't noticed, mine has some buttons, but this one. One obviously is the more recent version, and two it. Looks like it has more functionality in it. So 
really nice stuff really good work their tablets work for a very long time i've always been really extremely happy with huey on so i highly recommend them they have a 2021 uh, edition canvas for 300 canvas 16 this one looks nice there's more buttons this one looks more like the one i have but yeah that is it we make popcorn with packs and bags with logo and homemade popcorn that's cool where do you guys sell them at at like events or something or Also, to note, I do have a Huey on. This thing right here was like 50 bucks when I bought it. Very useful. And it's, uh, it's if you haven't noticed, it is wireless. Which is wireless. So, we're going to try to kind of do this quick. This is primarily for testing purposes. Um... Man, honestly, I wish I could just sculpt out something nice like this and then kind of have them. What it is, is when I went to um, add these, I um, I remeshed them at too low of a poly. So that's why they have these like really gross geometry, which means I might have to do it again. But I'm just trying to see if I can get some quick results with this and then I can kind of carry on that style throughout the entirety of the game. Kind of get this blocky but um, cartoony style almost. I'm thinking of redoing Judah again to make him a little bit more friendlier. I mean he already looks rather friendly but I feel like um, I need to lower his tries. And I'm like, well, what a better time to practice um, character creation than a time like this. But we'll probably do that at a later date once we've um, kind of done all the things we've had to do for the game in regard to mechanics like movement and etc. I don't want to get stuck on this stuff too much, but I do want to kind of nail a style down and since this involves sculpting I like sculpting I figure why not when did you join YouTube I had a this YouTube count account for a while but I really didn't stream on it for a very long time um, but I started streaming seriously about what in towards the end of November and, uh, you know, I streamed one time in December and a lot of people came in, started hanging out. Just works like that. I kind of want another playlist, though. Lo-fi makes me low-key tired. After the streams, I'm always like super tired just because I listen to that low tempo music, you know what I'm saying? By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this so far, make sure to, um, you know, like the video. Make sure to like the video. If you haven't subscribed already, you're new, you're joining in, please make sure to click that subscribe button. All the support helps. And, uh, you know, it goes a long way. But yeah, I'm just kind of doing this quick. I might have to redo all of this, though, Loki, just because of um, all this noise. Look at all this noise in here. There's got to be a way to fix this. That doesn't involve having to redo it all, you know? Please be a gamer. You will get 1K subs. I already am a gamer, man. I'm the... I just... I don't... You know, honestly, I would. But the thing is, is I just... I, I get really bored of playing games. I need to exercise um, the, the noggin. 
if I'm not doing that, I get kind of bored. I tried doing uh, streams like that and they did well, but um, you know, there's no space. It feels like to be completely authentic to yourself, which is why I kind of stepped away from it. You know, I'm not a big fan of like heavy rock and roll anymore, but as the famous Kurt Cobain said, I'd rather be hated for who I am than loved for who I'm, I am not. And let's be real guys. Christians are not really treated with respect online. You're kind of talked to like you're an idiot. You know, and it's funny because most people don't think some Christians are like physicists, like there's science, there's like Christians who are scientists, brilliant people, but somehow they're still treated like they're idiots by people who aren't even scientists, but they subscribe to it. It's actually kind of interesting, but regardless. I'm sure people have their reasons, but I'd rather make this type of content than anything because it helps me stay on track and it helps me um, develop skills that I can possibly, that I wouldn't otherwise, right? Right now I'm really trying to fix these weird edges and I think I'm just gonna have to go in and redo all of this. I might just have to do that because at the moment this is going to take a lot of um a lot of maintenance just to get finished hmm what i could do Yeah, see, it just, it's going to take too much maintenance. Let's go ahead and um, bring this back over and redo this tree. I'm like, man, this is taking a lot longer than it should be. I think it's better to do each leaves and layers and array them on top. What do you mean? Like, kind of like what I did prior to all this. Here, let me show you in case you didn't know. Um, so I created a geometry node for this purpose. And the idea is that, you know, you fit it to here, right? We can tilt this, we can change the count of it, right? And the idea is that you just copy and paste, copy, you can change the tilt a little bit. So it looks like they're layering one on top of each other. We can even spin this around, right? And we get some interesting results relatively quickly. Um, but it's about maintaining that geometry a little bit, right? See if we can get some more in here too. But then it's like we start getting this tile look, which I'm not a big fan of. So we really got to play around with this until sorry, we get something that's pretty desirable. Pretty much, but I think adding a shrink wrap might help. That's a good idea. Let's go ahead and try that. Let's try a shrink wrap. And by the way, Rashad, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Let's do that. Ooh. Boom. Maybe after... Yeah, I don't know. I've never really I work I've worked with shrink wrap before, but not so much. How many do we have here? We have 22. Just trying to find a way to get like a decent amount in here. But we start taking away from the overall look. So I'm just going to have to kind of bite the bullet on this one and 
to kind of try to find a way to fit them in. And you see we start getting a look that kind of looks like what we're trying to achieve here. Um, although it is relatively different, it looks like they kind of just place these in here and join them up. Me, on the other hand, I could probably try to do a little bit better job of doing that. And we can see here it doesn't it doesn't always work. Um, let's duplicate this again and hide that just in case I mess up and I can use that as a reference again for the shape. Uh, shoosh, sheesh, Louise. Honestly, I could probably just use something as the bottom right like this because we're gonna we're gonna be merging all these together and kind of like silly putty almost and then we can kind of go like this and just build from that Probably better to hard model this exactly the way that we want it. Hey, Rhea, how's it going? How you been, Rhea? We didn't see you yesterday. I was sad. How's your day going? Thanks for joining. How's everyone doing? Actually, do I? I don't even have loop tools. That's crazy. I'm a crazy person, no loop tools, loop tools. Always make sure you have loop, to, loop tools enabled because then you can right click and use the loop tools to create a circle. However imperfect it can be at moments, right? <clears throat> Actually, let's do this. Let's inset. Trying to get a bulbous, bulbous look. Honestly, sorry guys, this is coming out pretty shoddy. But I'm sort of experimenting, if you would believe it or not. Let's come out here, move you a little bit. I'm just trying to build the shape. We're gonna be sculpting this all in regardless, so I'm not too concerned about all the geometry in here. Rashad, I'm so used to doing things the traditional way. How easy it, is it to understand procedural geometry like Houdini or geometry nodes? I'm one of those people who are not good at math. <clears throat> Well, the, the, the confusing aspect is it looks like there's a lot of math involved, but really there isn't. I mean, if you want to get into finite details, especially in Houdini, knowing a bit of math is good. But, sh you know, I'm somebody whose highest um, experience in math is like calculus. So I'm not a math whiz. <clears throat> With that being said, geometry nodes have been for me relatively simple to learn. And that's just because I've messed with them so much. Houdini altogether, after experimenting, took me probably about a month or two to kind of get comfortable with. So, you know, there is a learning curve, but there, there, there isn't a massive one. Most of those, so <clears throat> essentially most of the things you wanna do have already been worked out by the developers of that software. So when it comes to doing the math, they've kind of accomplished that stuff already. And um, most of the things that do require the heavy, like heavy math algorithms, um, like I said, those have been done and anything outside of that, there's most likely a tutorial on it, right? It's been a good day so far. Sadly missed yesterday's stream, but watch it afterwards. Did you like it? No, I'm just kidding. Us YouTubers, did you like it? You gotta like the video, subscribe to the video, subscribe 300 times. The tree looks cool. Thank you. Yeah, we're doing, uh, if you're anyone who's joining in, we're trying to find out a way to replicate this. Now, I'm not trying to go for the entire shape, right? But I am trying to replicate the way these leaves or the way the, the style of the leaves, right? Um, and see if we can incorporate that style in our game. So the way I've done that is 
I've made a geometry node. Um, and I think I've kind of, let's see, I, yeah, I've messed that up so far. Let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna grab this and drag it down. And then I'm gonna move these guys into the collection scene. So we don't get confused or actually leaves. I don't know. But yeah, so far we've taken this, we've made a geometry node, which essentially copies a leave around. We can tilt it, scale it, right? And um, let's take this back a bit and we can change the count on it. What we've done from there is kind of copied and pasted it going all the way up, just variating the tilt on it so we can get this nice effect. Um, and if I could grab, I don't know why Judah keeps getting pulled away from the uh, project. It's kind of annoying me. Like even now, it's like, what is this? What's going on? It's probably because I'm not moving. All right, let's select. No, not delete the hierarchy. Let's select the hierarchy and move him to the right. And nope, that's interesting. And it's because of that. Let's just... Is there any way to delete all of the stuff? Here, let's make a... Um, join me, Nar. Who can get 1K subs? Nar. Read what I'm saying. What are you doing? War. The war has already begun. But yeah, we'll just put that over here. I don't really care about the... Um, about all that, I'm just using this as a reference for size comparison. And just like that, he's been moved. You know what? I'm just going to delete all the bones and then do that. This is becoming a little pretentious. That's the word. I don't think that's the word though. But yeah. Um, so essentially we've created this. So, and if you're actually, sorry, I'm going to be moving around here a lot. Let me reopen the project for you guys. Yesterday, I de decided to go for more of an orthographic view on the game because dimensionality seems like there will be less, um, there'll be less time inputted in on it and there would be more vertices saved so on so forth right because when i have a horizontal line for the environment i have to follow i have to make sure to flood fill that entire line up to a point which means i'll need either sprites or geometry from from meshes like 3d assets to do that with you know an orthographic view we kind of um diminish that or dissolve that problem, that issue. All right, Light, you have a great one. Website now, I'm leaving, what website? But yeah, so we've decided to go for an orthographic view. It still looks good. Um, obviously, we still have to play with the orthographic viewport or the width of it to make it a little bit more appeasing at least for me but yeah we kind of diminish that for instance if i were to take this ah uh, you know it will finish this and then we'll throw it in but you get the point we are now changing from a perspective view to an orthographic view you will leave if i don't open what i don't see a link anywhere and to be quite frank with you i don't do well with demands If you want to set a language for your guild, what's games rob? Did you just add this? Uh... Okay, good. I'm sure he's doing something cool. But yeah, I don't do well with uh, demands light. If you want to leave, that's fine. Um, but I don't see a link. Looking YouTube on your stream.
YouTube on your stream content live. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't see a thing. I do not see a thing. And honestly, while we're here, um, we'll do that in the chat. In the chat. Oh, in the comments. Oh wait, there's no comments. Are you saying the actual video? I'm so confused right now. Comments. Yeah, there's no comments that people can place on the video right now, I believe. Here, let's go here. Let's go to here. Just to the plain channel. Let's go in here. Yeah. I don't see... Just go on the channel. Yeah, I don't I don't see anything. All right, uh, let's continue with the work, guys. Um, yeah, but the, look, see, we have some issues here. We have to resolve. Let's go into sculpt and just hand drag these in. And thank you, Ria. I also think the orthographic view looks great as well i think it still serves um or it still does the game justice i'm a little sad that i can't do perspective because i, I do like perspective a lot but how is it not there i send one well it's sometimes it doesn't send maybe the video doesn't allow it i don't know I will put it in the Discord. Sounds good. Let me know when you put it in there and I will check out the link. Um, but yeah, here we are. Let's. First, we have to. So, with this, you can't just apply this because these are all curves. So, what you have to do instead is convert them to a mesh and then, you know, they convert into a mesh. Let's go ahead and click this. Let's go into sculpt and drag that in a bit. I don't want these to over exceed the shape of the leaves on the tree. I kind of just want them to be a base that they can join in on. It's a lot of setup for this, honestly. But if the results are great, then I don't think there's much of an issue of, of it, you know? Maybe I'm thinking too much about it. But <clears throat> the idea is that um, another thing I could do is take this 3D mesh and, you know, render out an image of it and use that as well. I'm going to look into ways to do that in the actual scene because we could probably have like a universal lighting that the game is subjected to like a universal night mode or a universal uh, day mode. And then we can bake two sets, one for night, one for day, and kind of go from there. And then incorporate it, and hopefully everything will work out. A-OK. -okay. But yeah, Rashad, uh, I wouldn't feel intimidated by Houdini. Houdini is definitely... It's easy to learn. You just have to, like everything, there's a learning curve to it. And you kind of just have to do it to figure it out. But once you create something, you can potentially make it an, an infinite amount of things from it. So that's the uh, pro to learning it. All right. Let's join these and let's save and then let's um, go here into sculpt mode. Let's go R and let's a very, very, very low number, like very low. Oh, no. 
I just realized. Ah, uh, we joined it. Let's drag these in. Honestly, I should do it on local. Bible talk. Yeah, I'm creating a Bible talk one. That's where you put it. Bible talk. Nope. Yeah, I still have to count to 1K. Yeah, we are pushing to 1K, guys. So if you like game development or you're a Christian and you like game development, make sure to click that subscribe button. The subscribe button. Push it. You'll be happy. I swear. Yeah, we're missing some geometry in here. Did I forget? I must have forgotten to select one. Yeah, I did. Let's single this out. Make sure everything is semi-decent across the map, which it isn't. And then we can drag this in. Bible talk, no. I don't know where you're putting this at because we have, we have, so here's the thing. When someone posts something, it'll highlight white. For instance, you'll see in logs, something was placed here. So it's um, highlighted. Game development news. Access denied. Yeah, there's... All right, let's check the remesh on this. Let's remesh it. We're going to be retopologizing all this anyways. So as long as we can get some semi-decent geometry, that's all that matters to me. I will say this is a tad bit annoying that they do this. Um, there's got to be a way to fix that so they're automatically smooth afterwards but we can kind of just go in and this saved out a lot better so we could definitely use this for what we're trying to do i just feel like i gotta geez this isn't gonna be fun <laughs> going through each one of these pedals and smoothing it these have to be smoothed into each other, though. By the way, this is on mouse and keyboard. I'm not using my tablet at the moment, if you couldn't tell. Yeah, I send the link in Discord. Well, I'm starting a war. Me, Lightations versus NAR to 1K subs. What's that? Count to 1K. Who's NAR? Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't get access to it. But yeah, let's blend these in. Nar is you. Who is Nar? Oh, Nazareth? You mean Naz? N-A-Z? And we can actually come in here. I'm going to pull this over. And we're going to switch streams. Nar is me. Warring to 1K. What does that even do? All the movement. Sorry, guys. I'm dragging you around a lot. Let's go ahead and try to kind of blend these in, I guess. I'm trying to just smooth them in, but it occurred to me that I should probably add some geometry in to get these working well.
Let's set this to the brush size. So we're not moving around a lot. And actually, let's go back because I added way too much there. I read a thing on the uh, internet the other day and they're like, you want to make sure your posture is correct. <clears throat> now you can and you can edit the dock. Well, uh, we'll see if I can do that. I'm pretty busy with my game. Um, and honestly, I'm more interested in that than trying to grow subscribers. People will join in as they want. Although, we are making a push for it. It's, ra it's somewhat of a a subtle one. The subtle one. So, is anyone in here working on anything? Hanging out? Lurking? If so, what are you working on? Build up the shape. Build up the shape. Good morning. Hey, Steve. How's it going, friend? Good morning to you. By the way, I checked out your game or your locomotion system, and it looks cr crazy good. Um, what do you think about the locomotion system? Need to turn up the strength on this i feel like i have to oh not the strength of that strength of the smooth let's drag that down a bit i'm working on my chibi character it's been difficult but really fun that's cool is it almost ready to share i'm like super stoked to see it by the way I've been considering something recently and I'll talk more about it once I've really come down to a decision. this bulbous shape and i know it's i'm working on my ch oh you should share it yeah i think she should as well whenever she thinks it's good enough to share or she can share it now you can disclose that it's a work in progress it's always nice to see like a beginning and then end result right so okay I don't know if you guys could hear that neck crack, man, but every time, it's so good. But yeah, let's kind of go in. Yeah, this looks like garbage. I hate when that happens. I guess we should just try to... some of this off to at least get some type of look I don't know how people are able to get such smooth rounded surfaces in um, sculpting Rhea says hopefully I'll have it finished soon I'll share it in the 3d when I'm done I could show a whip if it gets delayed Sounds good. I'm interested in seeing whether it's the whip or the finished product because you always come, you always turn out great results. So I think regardless, it's going to be amazing. I'm really surprised at all the artists that we've 
been able to come in contact with our Discord. Just a lot of excellent talent. I saw Charlie's painting and I was blown away. I was like, man, I wish I could do landscapes like that. I can't. That's like my... I'm very shy when it comes to my drawing because it's a very... It takes me a very long time to do it. I wish I was better at it, though. It would make my life a whole lot easier in regard to planning out and designing. So who knows? We might do some... Some haggard... Some haggard drawing streams here at some point. The process of creating a locomotion blueprint has helped me understand the challenges animators face. It starts out simple, but the problems grow as the number of potential transitions increase. Yeah, it's... It feels like... I I, I don't fully realize that because I haven't experienced um, what you've experienced in regard to the locomotion. I haven't, I've been interested in adding one for the project, right? So I can use, you know, the character's distance from the ground to kind of, when he's falling, you know, he can maybe prepare himself and then when he lands, he can do something. Um, but I do, I do see what you're saying. The more animations, the more of a struggle. Stay real. Hey, stay real. How's it going, man? It's been a while. It's been a while, my friend. How are you doing today? How's the game development journey been in your world? If you haven't noticed, we're making leaves for a tree. Right now, we're just trying to make the top look semi-decent. And then uh, we're going to work into the leaves below I'm not gonna lie the breathing in this song kind of makes me mad he's like oh like someone breathing in your ear like stop it stop it I'm just trying to chisel out some of this detail. Nice. Yeah, it is nice, ain't it? I'd show you the, the, the results at the moment, but... Or essentially the tree trunk and all that, but... I'm kind of just hard stuck on trying to do this so I can retopologize it. And then what we're going to do is retopologize it, and then we're going to bake this on that and then hopefully get something that resembles this and i'm gonna keep this open the leaves in the tree by the way guys if you like the video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and if you have i appreciate you very much um most of the time people have um, their profile set to private. So when they subscribe to the channel, I don't see it. So with that being said, if you do, thank you so much. Ow, that really hurt. And yeah, I'm just happy it didn't hit the funny bone. That'd be cackling. All right, all right, all right. Here, let's get rid of this and go ahead and switch back to yeah I set up my stream deck recently and it's been awesome it's an awesome device just hands down let's scale this down and let's start individually smoothing out some of these groups I don't want these to show in the bake I want some nice crisp lines Dab. But yeah, we're going to try this out, see if we like it, see if it looks clean, and if it does, we're going to try to replicate something like this throughout the entirety of the uh, project. I'm just trying different types of styles out, seeing which one um, is easily 
you know, you can replicate it easily, so it takes up less time. I think that's a big part in creating a battle strategy for your game. Figuring out, um, especially when you're an indie developer, right? Like, it's worm satanic game development next, please. I mean, if you want to make that channel, go ahead, but that this is more of a Christian game development channel. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully the trolls don't start coming up in troll and like troves. But yeah, we kind of just have to get rid of these. Like you can see these little it like keeps the polygons. I don't know if there's a way to fix that when you go to remesh it, but if anyone knows, please let me know because it would save me a load of time. I wouldn't have to sit here for each individual leaf and kind of work my way around. It's not the funnest thing to do, but it's not the slowest thing to do ever either, sorry. Actually, yeah. Honestly, I would probably try to blend these in if I could without destroying too much of the geometry. Who knows? We'll see if we can work that in, but I'm just going to focus on cleaning up these rough faces. You know, whenever someone comes in and says something like that, I always rem it always reminds me that I've kind of signed up for that, you know? It always makes me laugh because I like I get I'm like kind of thrown back by it. I'm like, <gasps> and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I signed up for this. This is my fault. I just don't get why it makes people so mad that they gotta come in here and say something. <laughs> like, you can do anything. You can be eating, like, a bowl of cereal. you making some breakfast for yourself. Nah.
Make it look nice. So, stay real. What are you up to, man? How you been? You never answered my question, dude. That's how the game dev adventures were going. What have you been working on? Model looks cool. Thank you, Sakai. How you doing today, friend? Thank you for joining in. I appreciate the compliment. Right now we're just trying to create something quick so I can try to apologize it and hopefully do something like this. Let me switch this over. Create something like this, right? I'm really trying to figure out how to do the leaves here. So that's kind of what we're up to at the moment. Just chill accents, sculpting. And for some strange reason. Oh, now it works. When in doubt, press the space button. There's gotta be an easier way though than doing this every time. like we've kind of got everything let's see if we can blend these um, into each other really quick actually let's save before we do that I don't want to destroy anything try to take that down a bit Cool 3D model. I've been thinking of getting a tablet and stylus for a while. How much does it help? For me, it depends. It depends on what you're trying to use it for, right? Um, personally, I'm a horrible artist, so it works extremely great, right? I'm able to do things that are a little bit above what I should be able to do. But who knows? Maybe it's just a, a uh, 
you know, a computer thing, right? You can just control, undo. Uh, but anyways, thank you for joining the channel, Ethan. Or Ethano. I don't know which one you prefer. You can say your whole name if you want. Ethanos Creates. I like the name. How are you doing today? I'm just trying to figure out how to pull this up. I wish there was some way to, like... I don't know. I guess I'd have to just... Blend these in. But as you can see, we have some stuff missing up here in that area. I guess I forgot to add it. And honestly, it could be used as a bush, too. Right? Let's see if we can... Uh, yeah. Trying to get, like, a tree. And then we're going to retopologize this. And then... We're going to... By the way, if you are looking for a tablet, I recommend... Uh, Hueon. If you don't know what Hueon is, they're an excellent. I mean, I've used them. Hueon. I learned about them through, I don't know if you guys watch Jazza. I used to binge watch his stuff, but uh, he always used Hueon tablets, and I tried them, and they're. Or I bought one, used it. Works great, so. Personally, I, I like the uh, the monitor type where you can see the image on here. Um, these ones are obviously a little bit cheaper and they come with more buttons from what I know. But Huion is an excellent company. If you're looking at purchasing a tablet, I recommend them. Highly recommend them. I had one tablet that worked for like two, three years. It finally took a, a crap. But... They're a little inexpensive, too, for what it's worth. So. Wakan is, like, so expensive for just a small tablet. It's, like, 80 bucks. Anyways, let's get rid of that. Let's come in here. Let's save. I could just add some geometry in here and kind of work some magic, but I think... What we could do is just retopologize this and then um, see how quick that process will be. Topos currently in local view. It's giving me the over 1 million vertices warning. It's like. It's going to be that high anyways. We're not going to want symmetry on this item. draw up some contours Ooh. what do you mean why are you being difficult all right there we go i don't know if it was something i did well, let's go ahead and like these loops and then draw from there I think what I should do hmm, is maybe draw them from right here. The issue is going to be these little bad boys. These little bad boys. Can you show the model? The model. Yeah, I can show the model. Uh, I'm currently working on a tree trying to replicate 
this style of leaves, but in my own, you know, mannerism, I guess you could say. I don't think that's the right word, but we've created a, we have an orthographic game. So this is going to look good for one side. Um, currently what I'm trying to do right now is we apologize this so I can bake this high poly, um, I could, don't know why I can't speak right now. So I could bake this high poly sculpt onto this model and then essentially, hopefully try to get something like this. Hey, Roman, thank you so much for the follow. I can't see, oh, thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. But yeah, the idea is that we're trying to replicate these leaves here. So I've kind of duplicated a bunch using an array and now I've sculpted them, sculpted them out and it's essentially retopologizing. Re re and then we're going to bake that on top of here and then, you know, see if we can replicate this in any type of way. But I kind of like the style, so I figure I'd give it a shot and see what we can do. <clears throat> by the way, by the way... Pajama Boy, welcome. And Steven, you're streaming the tablet. Yeah, I, I figured that out. <clears throat> See, I'm telling you, I wish it would just go to the window that I'm on, that I'm active on. Boom, 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 you know? Just work in se sequence. and my body sore from yesterday i was punching the bag just unloading on it trying to get quicker Ooh. i don't know if this will mess with that sorry we gotta exit again and we gotta solo the model like so or actually what did i do i made a no-no didn't i displays what did i do what did i do i'm so confused all right let's un because it's a million tries so it's starting to bog down a bit whatever let's just edit the active did I hide the active or is it geometry reference? I think I might have deleted it. What did I do with it? We should have like a geometry node somewhere. Whatever. I'll just restart it, I guess. Ah. That's the great thing about this model is I just contour, 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 contour. And then at the bottom, I got to, you know, do some, some topology. But regardless of that, it's, it should be relatively simple up to the end or the bottom. Oh. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, time moves by so much quicker when you're working in Houdini for some weird reason. For those of you who are new or just subscribing for the past week, we've been working on uh, procedural generation in Houdini, and now we're trying to work out some assets for the game just to kind of test some styles out or test the style out and essentially get a whip of some models and I don't know why it's doing this now. Thank you. You know what it is, is it's because I'm doing that. When we come right here, I guess it's selecting something else. I don't know. That's gonna be an issue though. Let's do that. Yeah, see, immediately once we get to here, it starts freaking out. Which is fine. We just need the geometry. We don't need to have like... 
I would like it to look nice all around, though. Kind of annoying me. But you get it. This is where it's going to get hard because we're going to have to actually. Hmm. How many are here? One, two, three. I think there's like 22. So what we're going to have to do. Let's go all the way back here to the beginning. Delete. Start over. What I can actually do is just work on these. I kind of want them to start from right here. This isn't going to be fun whatsoever. But the idea is that we kind of just go in, add these, right? I don't think they need to be actually like absolutely perfect. They just need to kind of resemble the shape in some way, shape or form. If you think there's something, a different approach that I could take on these, please make sure to speak up because any advice is good advice at this point. Honestly, I might want to drag these out like so. Connect them right here. Kind of making it a little bit more work for myself than is absolutely necessary. But it's fine.
don't have much experience with it, so hard to give advice. Do you know how to add a radial array? That's the only thing I can think of at the moment. Yeah, I know how to add a radial array, but when it comes to... Are you thinking of, like, doing a contour around it? Because that's what I'm trying to do, but right now I'm going to be using these as a way to kind of climb up and do that. That way we have enough um, contour lines. So I'm starting off at the a little bit tedious part, just so the rest of it will hopefully be a little bit easier. Now let's go ahead and grab our loops. can do that but I can't like squish them down big sad let's see if it'll let me do this no we can always take that and then move up with it afterwards Right? Like if we come in here and add a loop. Come on. Give me what I want. Give me what I want. I'm clicking the button. It's not working. This is actually kind of annoying. Yeah, there should be a way to just add a loop cut. That works fine, right? It's like when I get here that it's like throwing a tantrum. There we go. But even then, that's kind of like no bueno. So what we'll have to do is just kind of get the outer shell. Wow, I wonder what Blunder plugin this is. Coder Media, this is Retopo Flow. It's an excellent, it's an excellent program. One of the best, if you ask me. Let's dissolve this. Just trying to use this to get a quick edge on all these guys. Um,
but it is going to be a bit of a bit of a task i'm not gonna lie because now i have to come in and do this raise that up and then drag these around Holly pen. Yeah, this is going to be fun, but I think it's going to be better than honestly, I could have probably done it myself. It's rather interesting that it's doing that. Let's just delete that edge or delete the edge. Thank you. If I click over here, it'll let me grab that. Let me grab that. Jesus. It is not going to let me grab that. Do I have to, like, go into the geometry to select it? This seems like a very simple mesh to decimate via the built-in modifier Why fiddle around with this object. Is it an important asset in the game? I'm just trying to make sure that, uh, I mean, I could try a decimate, to be quite frank with you. In fact, yeah, let's try that really quick. Yes. Try that really quick. Duplicate this. I mean, it's a thousand tries, but we'll try it. Obviously, I just want this to be... Ah, I could also do this, too. Where is it? Arp, arp, arp. Orp! What's up, guys? I forgot I had a thing. I just hone in so much sometimes that I forget all of the other things that I can do. I have quad remesher. I'll try quad remesher. And I'm assuming that'll work. Yes, I agree. It's definitely probably easier to go this route. I've already bought it. I've already bought it. I don't want a new subscription, I just want to download it. Let's go in here. And then after I download this, I'm gonna use a restroom really quick. Edit, preference, install, downloads. Up. Where is it? Quad remesher. Boom. 
boom bridge whatever let's do like a thousand let's see how much i can get away with I'll be right back. I'm going to use the restroom. back I agree all right guys let me type this stuff in Let's remesh it and see if it works. I like how this is taking ages. 47%. Let's see how the, let's see how the short is doing. Does any of you else, does anyone else, sorry, have like this kink in the center of their back and no matter what way they twist or what way they turn, it just won't seem to pop. And it's there, it's like a feeling. At least it's not as slow as texture baking. That's why I use Substance Painter. That is a big reason why I use Substance Painter, my friend. Imagine five hours later. It's because it has like one million tries. But you think that would be better for the... No, you know what it is? It's, it's probably going through each vertice and being like, well, can I do it this way? I'm so stupid. Escape to a board. All right. I'm aborting. I'm aborting. I have, I, my brain came up with a better idea. Not to sound rude. I think it came up with a fairly sh sufficient idea. All right, so we go like this. We got this, right? And we just do this. We select all these. Are you planning to add LOD levels, by the way? Um, 
it's all going to be orthographic, so anything that's far away is going to have a... It's going to have an LOD. Or it could just be a sprite, right? I could just render this out from far away and then take it in there and scale it down if I have to, and then use those instead. But to answer your question, yes. Yes, sir. And honestly, the project might shift because I realize the scope of this game is a little too large as always. Um, so if that's a little disappointing to people, I completely understand. But I'm also thinking of taking what we're building here and expanding on it in a PC variation that explores a lot of the ideas that I have. Look at that. Look at that. Now we have our things. I like how it's just completely didn't do what I wanted here. Honestly, we really don't even need this, to be quite frank. Like, if we go out and we do that, kind of don't even need... But we do need something like this. If we expand out. That was a lot quicker. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? I Like I said, my brain... My brain could be smarter. Okay, guys. I don't want to talk about it too much. But yes. I make dumb, dumb ideas. Or do dumb, dumb things sometimes. Uh, it isn't always my fault. I wonder how this will turn out. I don't think I need to exactly... Like, if I bake onto it and I have... Yeah, you know what? We're just going to do this. I think this will work fine. Because I do want to get this, like, all of these. But then we're definitely going to see some discrepancies here. Um... So as long as we go right here, probably to the end... Like so, let's go like this, straighten these out, bring this up, right, to where it needs to be, and then we can, I guess, do that. Honestly, at that point, we don't even need these. Oh, never mind, dissolve edges. I think these should bake on top of these. I'm curious to see the result of this, guys. I feel the same sometimes, especially now because I'm already past the planned release date. The scope of content featured in my game is just way too huge, yeah. It's just the typical syndrome for all of us game developers. Like, we get excited off of this idea, right? And that's what inspires us to make the game. It's, and that's just the sad truth, like... You need that inspiration to get started. But from what I know, from, uh, you know, people in the industry, that happens with almost every title. The scope has to be lowered by the end of it, you know? There's just a lot of stuff you could do in a game. There's a lot of things that you plan and they don't end up coming to fruition. It's just shade smooth. And since we're going to be orthographic, I don't think it really matters. I mean, actually, it probably does matter if we hollow these in low key. But now to test this, we're going to UV unwrap. And we're just going to. This is actually kind of making me mad. I was hoping I could cheese this by just selecting all the geometry and then shrinking it in and then just placing them at these edges. But I don't think that'll work either. Hey, we already did one. Too bad we just can't copy and paste. That would be nice. Stupid me. Let me 
looks like we'll just have to select these independently and do it this way, like so. Subdivide. Join. Real slow. But yeah, we might have to um, change the scope of this game. Which isn't a bad thing. I'll just have to make an account. I'm hoping to generate some funds, though, before it so I can have enough cash to do the thing for I Apple. Apple, because God knows they got to make you, you want to be on our platform, you got to pay 200 bucks, or is it 100, 100, what, a year, yeah, it's a year, and I think they get revenue off of your game, like whatever you sell on the game, they get revenue of, whatever ads you have on the game, they get revenue of. Freaking Apple, man. I got a word that rhymes with Apple. And that's what they remind me of. And if you hold your tongue and say Apple. Sorry for that joke, guys. I do be a bad Christian sometimes. I try. I try, but it is hard. I guess maybe it wasn't that bad, and I'm just being careful. I mean, once, now that we're accustomed to the idea, this isn't as bad, but I would like this to go a lot faster than it currently is going. Subdivide. We only have 500 more to go. Imagine, that would be horrible. Please God, don't let that happen to me. I'd probably lose my mind. Haha, uh -huh. I tend to overcomplicate my projects a lot too. The character I'm working on has more details than I originally planned since I haven't made one before. But that's the thing, like all great artists do that. Like you don't, you just add what you want to add. But the, you know, it's just how it is. And it's not a bad thing, but it's like, it just, I don't know. For the, the purpose of what I'm trying to do, I just started off, I wanted to make this really cool game, and then I messed up that project, so I was like, I'll have to make something with a little bit less of a scope. So then I came up with this game, and it's the same characters, right? Because, like, I look at him kind of like Mario or Sonic, right? Like, he could have a a game it's kind of like a, a burst almost but i just wanted a character that was like those guys but more biblical you know who's cooler like who's cooler than god man who's stronger no one that's the answer it's like why don't i make a character based off that right let's go by distance nobody exactly so it's like why don't i just make a character off that and praise god because that's like the the primary idea of this game like it's not to be super evangelical or evangelical if that's what it turns out to be then great but the primary the primary idea is to praise god through it right 
that's my goal. Having a detailed protagonist is the highest priority one can have in a game. The problem starts when NPCs are over detailed and slowly the amount of work you have to put in increases dramatically. Yeah, because you have to kind of replicate that level of detail throughout all of your assets. It's like, uh, why did I do what I did? I'm right there with you guys. I do that a lot too. But I think when it comes to a uh, to a protagonist, and you can like you've probably seen mine. I think the simplicity simplicity is most of the time key. Most of the time, right? Thinking of doing that for every single part of the mesh. Except, yeah, I should probably base that off of. Because then we're going to get some, like, rinky dink stuff here. I guess it doesn't matter. As long as we can lower the vertice count a little bit. I just kind of did it the way I did to make it easier for the contours. Um, however, I could have done this prior and saved myself some time and energy, but who needs time and energy? Who needs sanity? No one. These are all lies, we know. The other concern that may arise is performance issues that you have to solve by the use of normal maps. Yeah. With me, um, like mobile games, from my knowledge, don't use normal maps. Um, but I get what you're saying completely. For me, I have to do, I think I'm gonna have to do some sprites, but I'm thinking of just making this an infinite platformer and then coming into like, I really wanna put something on the Nintendo Switch. I think a game like this would work great on it. And I think it really fits the audience or our demographic, you know, a family console, I think would probably be owned by a lot more Christians than we could imagine at the moment. So I'm thinking of making a variation of this game using a lot of the same assets and procedures, but really expanded on. And what did I do? What did I do, dude? What did I do? Why did I do that? Are you kidding me? This is what I get. All right, let's just finish this off before we have to do that. That's the only issue with uh, this guy. It's the only issue with him. A distance. This is probably one of my favorite songs. I just like that. I like the saxophone or the, yeah, that's a saxophone, isn't it? And I really vibe on the, uh, the, the high pitch in the background that burp, burp, burp. as the kids say, it slaps. <laughs> It flaps hard, dude. <laughs> Sometimes I don't get the euphemisms. <coughs> Sorry. It's like, at what point in life do you stop doing it? I turned into Markiplier for a moment when he said, what did I do? <laughs> yeah, someone's made that comment about me before. They're like, you remind me of Markiplier. And I was just like, I don't even know who that is. Maybe he's got like a 
Imagine he turns into an engineer out of nowhere and he makes a channel called Markipliers and he's just always using pliers. It's the plier testing stream or YouTube channel. I like the grip on these pliers, but they really just don't get the angle you need when you're trying to unscrew a screw or whatever it is, a bolt. And there we are. Yeah, I feel like that's too many. But then we're gonna get this shape here. Big sad. Yeah, we gotta do this, guys. Oh boy. We got to keep that like universal shape, right? But I feel like with these, we need to kind of like drag them in now. All right, this song makes me tired. Ooh, this one's a good one. I like that little, those little like high, those high octave sounds or high scale sounds in the background. When anyone does that ever, I'm like, oh, it's amazing. But yeah, there we go. And honestly, no, I'm not going to do that. But now we have our tree and this has to be completely like this um, shade smooth. And we take this. Where is? Let's delete one of these. Let's file export. And I'm going to do these on the desktop. Rainforest one. Mm. Three. Leave. low or that's high i'm sorry i'm let me make that joke uh and then we just copy this come on copy paste low and let's see how these turn out let's do fbx low Selected objects. Do that one and then we'll file, export these, FBX. You know, I made. Okay. We can export this one, but I gotta re export the other one. I didn't unwrap the, the things. You gotta unwrap the things, guys. Or it just won't work. If you don't unwrap them, you're not doing nothing. <sighs> That's how you know I'm out of practice when I forget to do that. And I've tried to buy so many automated add-ons. Like I have UV, what's it called? Uh, Zen UV. I have... Um, UV unwrapper. I don't even know how I'm gonna, I'll probably just cut it in half. That's how lazy I am. It'll be fine, I swear. Everything will work, guys, don't worry. Mark seam, UV editing, boom. Go into what, vertex mode? And then we're, by the way guys, I just wanna say that uh, I appreciate all of you. And if you haven't already, please make sure to like the video. And if you subscribe to the channel and your profile is set to private, when you subscribe, I won't see it. No alert will show up. I can't throw a celebration with all the people in here. We can't have a party um, because we didn't see it. So with that being said, if you subscribed and your profile is private, I appreciate you.
Zen UV, please don't make me angry. Nice. Let's do a world orientation for these guys. World orientation. And by the way, this is just a test. In a later variation, we're going to have to do all the, the leaves on this to try to save as much space as possible. So... This is not vindictive or vindictive or whatever. This is not going to be the, the final product. Big words, little brain does not work. I tried. At least you guys know I tried. That's all that matters. Ooh, someone sent some room. Check in here. You never know when you're going to get an important email from someone saying something important. Painter. 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 Boop. Why didn't it boop? Oh. So, what are you working on at the moment, Coder? Coder Media. Once upon a time, in a live stream, there was a man named Coder Media. Little did they know that's exactly what he was doing. Every ounce of media that you see, he's coded intentionally to be extraordinary. How did you guys like that little little freestyle let's try it on a uh, 1k yeah I like the template I like how it says Unreal Engine 4 and it's obviously Unreal Engine 5 and they just keep messing with my heart and body and soul because I'm like I'm on 5 I'm not on 4 and then I have to remember that it works still so if you're wondering what type of person you're watching right now, that's the type of person. And I have two of these open. What? I thought I saved these to the thing. Where did I export these to? Export. FBX. Oh, it's in the foliage trees. I'm sorry, guys. Foliage trees. Rainforest low. We don't want the 2K. Enos Yildirium. Yildirium. Hey, buddy. How's it going, Enos? Thank you for joining. I don't know if I butchered that, but Yildirium sounds kind of cool. Yildirium. Dirium. How's it going? Thank you for joining in. We appreciate you. All right. Let's click OK. We're going to go over here. We're going to try to bake this sculpt right guys this one right here we're going to try to bake this guy on there and see if we can get all that beautiful geometry on top of this we'll find out but if this is a hassle if it's annoying i'm probably not going to do it let's do 1k we'll do the high apply diffusion it's taking forever to load in and let's do some anti-aliasing. My content has always been kind of extraordinary. Looking back at things now, they all seem quite meaningless. <laughs> However, even if I made lackluster content in the past, I had to do it to improve my skills. I like that. Honestly, that was a good read. I don't know what it was. I think it's because I can relate to it. Let's check out the cage. The cage is here. Let's bump up the cage surface opacity. Maybe we make the cage a little bit further. I don't know if I can do that. I can, but it's not going to show me. I think I got to remember how to do the cage again. You just 
can put a box in here, right? Or you simply take this, expand it a little bit, cook it all in there. Why do they call it a cage? They should call it an oven, right? Oh, I clicked the use low poly as high poly mesh. We're not gonna get anything. Look, red means it's not gonna cook, I think. So with that being said, we might have to make a cage. A cage. And we do that simply by taking this, if I can click on it, this, and not be in edit, edit mode. So we see 5 million tries. Don't tell me you're gonna throw a tantrum for this little guy. Oh, it's because both of them are selected. My bad. Uh, we duplicate this. And let's do that. And then let's kind of... I don't know. What do you do? Like expand this a little bit? Like so? I don't know if this is going to work, guys. But we're going to find out. Bake. Age. I don't know. Let's test this out. We're going to have to do some tests here. It's been a while since I've done this. FBX. Low. We'll do cage here. Cage. Export. Um, come into here and use cage. Let's make a cage file. And there it is, the cage. So we do, and it doesn't look like overlapping affects it too much. So let's expand it out more, right? Get all of those in. Let's go ahead and export that again, FBX. We're gonna export the cage. We're going to re-import said cage. And, oh, it already did it, sweet. Um, and it doesn't look like there's any issues, but we're gonna find out. So let's go ahead and click the bake selected and it looks pretty good so far. I mean, look at that. Let's return to paint mode. And as you can see, it's done a pretty good job. Now, some issues I see right now is that we need to find a way to blend these into one another. But it's not too bad if you ask me, like if we're far away, like here guys, right it's not gonna be too bad so let's go ahead and do like some stylized let's do green painting actually let's just kind of start throwing some stuff on here dude some stuff let's go for like a darker green i kind of like how shiny it is but we got to take down that roughness actually bring up the roughness just a little bit so we don't lose all of that shininess we don't really need anything else um, on top of this we're gonna want to if I remember correctly it's been a very long time since I've dabbled in here huh. what is it mask builder is it mask builder or mask editor All right let's do that no oh, it's this one Shme. really really we can paint on top of that uh but let's do a global blur All right Let's change this color to um, one. Let's turn these down. Let's change this color here to this green and then crank up the value a little bit. So we get a little bit more of that. The only issue I'm seeing is it looks kind of like that.
kind of like that blue with it, honestly. But let's go in the mask editor and see what we can kind of play with this a little bit. I don't really want that texture it's giving. I just want it to feel like a little light. A light. Light brush on. There we go. It's beautiful. No, I'm joking. Sorry guys. I get I get rambunctious here and there and I don't want you to hate me for it. I think the worst part is I feel like on the inside I think I'm so witty, but I'm really not. We're gonna have to do a gradient too. Actually, we'll probably try just, the more I look at this blue, the more it makes me angry. The more it makes me angry. Here, let's actually look at rainforest trees. I mean, it looks like they got kind of like a bluish hue in here, but it's like a dark blue. But we're trying to do highlights. Not really doing, um, Sorry, let's go back to that. I... Yeah, for highlights, it looks like they're doing like a light. That looks more reflective than the light. But, yeah, let's go back to the blue. More like a purplish blue. We really need to get rid of that texture that we have. It looks like rubbish. Let's play with some of these styles. It's like either on or off, it looks like. So we're just gonna do normal. Highlight. Let's see if we can get some uh, ambient occlusion in this these areas. So let's go ahead and duplicate this and see if we can reverse. Because it looks like all we have to do to get this is kind of reverse it. So uh, do a global invert. Oh, that's looking kind of cool, honestly. What happened? What's going on? Curvature. Invert. Yep, and there's the invert. Let's add like a darker tone to these, like maybe like that purple we're looking at. Looks like it when it's lighter, it's definitely lighter. Maybe do a dark blue. Let's see if we can maybe get rid of some of that. Global contrast. I think we're going to have to play with um, the curvature a little bit. Although that looks so good. All right. Sorry. Um, Come on, give me something that looks good. You can do that. So the larger we go up, the more it has an effect. Huge. I'm really just trying to get Curvature opacity. I want it to be, I want it to be more, if I'm gonna be real with you guys. Oh, and we can use the position and all that too. But yeah, let's turn this down a bit. This is a little too much for my taste. I think that's a little bit better.
And let's go ahead and copy this again. We'll do ambient. And then we can do gradient pop. And for this, we can make the color, I don't know, maybe like this, a light yellow, or maybe a, yeah, a light yellow. I kind of like that. Let's come into here and uh, turn off the curvature, do the blur, right? Let's turn this down. See if we can make this look nice or semi decent. Come on. And then we can do another one coming from the bottom. Bottom gradient. We can flippity flop this around, make this like a dark purple. And you might be thinking, how are you picking your colors? And my answer would be, it's completely random. How you do it, All right? Let's invert this now. Yeah, invert. Let's, um, what is the contrast? We tilt this up. Yeah, see, it's starting to look real nice. We add that in. Look at that. Although I would argue it's a little too, um, yeah, it's too sheeny for my liking. That's looking pretty good. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. Just for like a quick little mock-up. I think it's purdy. I think it's purdy cute. Although I could do without this. Let's see if we can uh, try planier project to get rid of that seam. I mean, it's not going to matter. It's going to be off the top. Rhea says, I like it. Thank you, Rhea. I appreciate it. We're just trying to get rid of the seam now. Are you going to use a standard PBR workflow for the assets? Or are you going to bake all the maps down or just one? Um, I'll probably bake all the, the assets down just so they have more of like a, like I touched it type of feel to it. People will be like, ah, oh, yeah, you touched these things. I touched them, it's mouse and. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking to do something like this regularly throughout all the processes. I could do a PBR. Are you talking about... Uh, are you particularly talking about um, making like stuff in Substance Designer? Rashad? Because if that's what PBR is considered, I just want to make sure I know exactly PBR. I'm not, why would I use professional bull riders in this? I'm joking. Material. Yeah. Substance designer materials. I thought so. Sweet. I just had to make sure. I had to make sure, mate. I feel at the bottom. Yeah, I guess I kind of do that. They kind of affect one another as they kind of go down. This one, I think. Let's go ahead and make this. I want to make this um, like a light. Ooh, that's kind of sick. Low key. Hard light. And then for this one, oh no, that's, that's, we don't want that. Let's, uh, for this, I feel like we need to multiply, 
right? To get like a darker look. But the only issue with multiply is it looks like uh, as we multiply, it's just, it's not giving us the color that we want. Let's just go norm. And then for this one though, I do definitely, no, I don't know if we do a linear dodge. A linear dodge. Hard light, soft light, vivid light. What do, what do you guys like better? Do you like normal? Or do you like the soft light? I kind of like the, or the uh, vivid light. Linear light, pin light. You definitely don't get anything with soft light though. It's kind of like where But yeah, I would probably do PBR for maybe like a building. If I was doing buildings, I'd do a PBR because then I could just create a prefab with, uh, you know, some vertex painting on it so I can mitigate or move in and out of the PBRs. But I think for a tree like this, I don't really believe it might be necessary for it. Uh, yeah, I like Vivid. Do you think Linear gives a bit of the vibrance? Let's look at Linear again. Yeah, it does, huh? Just have to tilt it up a bit. I kind of do like the, the uh, Linear as well. Vivid, though. Yeah. I think I kind of like the Linear. Let's turn this up just a little bit and then uh, maybe in the gradient right I can come in and do that and then let's ooh, brightness turn down the brightness a little bit or the contrast turn that up a little bit more that's eh, about in the same place. We gotta bring that up, yeah, a lot, whole lot more. And I feel like these now are just, it's like way too much there. All right, let's export this texture. You get more yellows with linear. Yeah. With this one, it seems like... Yeah. It looks more foresty now that I look at it, eh? While this one has, like, more of, like, a... Like a darker green to it, so it doesn't feel as foresty to me. Let's just run with it. We can always change it if we feel like we should later down the line. Let's go to documents, trees. Let's just do a text in here. Text. Leaves. So uh, with that being said, Rashad, do you think it would be better to use a PBR for this? blender get rid of the cage we can get rid of this now and we can plop open this and then we can come into shading i think that is and go new we want a new thing for this right here i guess we put new on something else Let's just put the base color in looks really bad <laughs> we need all the other things don't we That's interesting that uh, it changes so much. It must be like the normal. Yeah, we need that normal, don't we, for this? I wonder if there's a way to bake that normal into... Hmm. 
normal. I would use just to bake the diffuse and AO as one texture and change the roughness of the metallic via the editor. Hmm. It's kind of what I've done. Is it was it bump? I'm trying to figure out how to um, add the normal in. Well, it's not a bump map. It's definitely a normal map. But I could have sworn I remember you have to do something with that to achieve it. We'll see what happens. Looks bad. So maybe it's what we have normal. And then we have normal map. Normal. You can use the AO as a mask. True. Chase! Hey, Chase. How's it going, my friend? Um, let us... Sorry, I'm trying to... Use normal map. There we go. Color. Normal. Still got this shiny sheen to it. What do you have to do for this? Was it world space? But yeah, I think that looks pretty darn good. I were to like hide this and then make this small. We're getting like some weird artifacts over here. Hide this as well. Because in substance, you can use the A, O as an... Oh, I read that. The only thing is, is I don't like how some of these, you can't really tell. What's something that's like universally nice. All right, let's go. Yeah, I don't know why Judah keeps getting moved away from whatever we're doing. I thought I deleted his stuff. Yeah, I like it. I kind of like this style. What do you guys think? I think we did all right. But I might want to drag this up a little bit. I think it was a good idea to do it the way I did it. Probably should fix the inside, but it's not going to really matter because we'll have it like this. And it can also double, right, guys, as a bush. <laughs> I don't think it works as a bush. And if we turn it upside down and put it on its head, it's hair. Look at that. He's got a new set of cool hair, guys. Don't tell me you're not impressed. Come on, Judah. You know you like your new hair, buddy. came out nice yeah i think so too i like it there's some things that i want to perfect about it um i'm not gonna stress on it too much because i don't think people will look at it but i feel like these lines should dissolve a little bit cleaner but that's just what happens when you use a lot of masks you don't always get the curvature you want um granted you know, that would be cool. You had a gradient via vertex panning for the canopy, then in Unreal you can use those vertex colors to simulate the leaves blowing in the wind. 
Hmm. Yeah, but this is going to be a mobile game, so it'd be hard to do that, or else I would totally be on board. Because that's, that's a really cool idea. Like, get these little leaves down here moving. Definitely an idea for when we, like, turn this into a console slash game. Uh... I think we have to um, apply this. Let's do a quad remesh. <gasps> Let's see how well this does, guys. Oh, sick, dude. Look at how great that geometry is. I mean, superb. Awesome work. I am really impressed. I'm not actually, I'm really annoyed. Let's do less. How many does this already have on it though? Vertices, bases. This one has 220. Let's remesh it. Why does it do that? Works on everything else though. Besides this, it's just like, oh. What device specs? Um, Android 8 and above. Because that's all you can do with, um, I believe, with Unreal is 8 and above. So that's the spec idea. Hey, and this gave us a little notch here. So if we wanted to, guys, we could come in here and carve into this and... some cool stuff going on it's not exactly how i do it but you get the point let me turn this into bark chipped bark but yeah i like the uh i definitely like the shading there's obviously some like glossy anomaly going on with this but i think it'll look really good we just have to get this done and then we can toss it into the game and look at it in that we can look at it in engine gosh this makes me really mad just seeing this makes me mad i'm like how how do you get that it should be smooth all right i think it would just be smooth this is all that I think this would have to come over, but there's definitely some weirdness going on. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with it too much. I don't care. We can fix it later. But it is annoying me. I'll say that much. I mean, welcome back. How did the client thing go? How did the client thing go, my friend? You know, and we could do that. Instead of running up a line like that, we could just go like that. Mark these seams. And here, these don't need to have them particularly in that way. I wanted to ask you to check the video I sent on 3D art. Yes, sir. Let's check it out. When I was 11 years old, but now everything changed. I don't like 3D modeling. One, two, three. Oh, you're doing the fun. Is this going to count how many subscribers? Uh, I mean, right here. 2D art. Yeah, this looks really good. Maybe he should start studying art. You heard me, Charlie. All right, let's check out the video, guys. Let's check out the video. Let's pause the music. Let's give Amin a little bit of attention here. More work in a week.
Okay. So he animates around the entirety of it. Cool. And that's done with geometry nodes. Whoa. So you're learning a lot about geometry nodes right now. Ah, I see what you're doing. So you're simply just rotating around that at an offset. I like how you had to have this song for something that looks like it might be an explosion. This is definitely a song for like all the streams where there's explosions. Today on YouTube, I'm making the biggest explosion you've ever seen. But it's out of bath bubbles. This one, I really like this one. This is sick. Spin them for me. So what I'm assuming is you create these and spawn them up on account. Oh, hey, that's sick. They align for a second. That's really cool. Go ahead and go that like. That's pretty cool. Go check out his stuff, guys. It's pretty sick. Wowzer. Wow, Zer. Yeah, let's get the music back on in here. I'm just gonna click the remesh it again. Remesh it. But we want these two, so let's unwrap and combine these together. And then using our handy dandy UV Pack Master Pro, we are going to pack these professionally. Look at that, guys. Instant. Looks like crap, though. <laughs> but I'm just testing things out, so I don't really care. If we have to redo it, we have to redo it. But I'm gonna, I plan to join all these together. Um,. Although, for these trees, I technically could just reuse this over and over again and have two texture pages for it so we get some consistency in this and maybe save some space. I don't know. We'll see. But that being said, let's export FBX. Tree trunk. Medium. Trunk. We're gonna have to rename this something else. Why is it whenever I export it, it brings it back? That was really cool, I mean. Yeah, I think so too. I agree. It was very cool. Let's go ahead and save this and let's huh, travel to the folder that we want. I wish I could like make a dominant save folder for everything that they universally pull from, no matter how many times I open up a different app. It's just like, seems like they always want to go to this spot. Um, ooh. 
object or foliage, trees. Save that. Let's go to file. Go ahead, click new. Select the trunk. Let's turn this down to 1K. We're probably going to button these down or bring these down to 512. I don't know. We're going to see what we can do and what we can't do. Um, but we're going to have to re-import these if we come here and we go face orientation. You can see that these point in the completely wrong direction. Let's go ahead and apply these as well. And um, let's recalculate the outside. Go ahead and grab these again. File, export FBX, click that. Let's go ahead and turn off face orientation because it's nauseating me. Then we're going to re-import the mesh. And just like that, we are in a solid state. Now we're just going to be doing like, we're not going to do any crazy textures on these like bark and stuff. I'm literally just going to do a fill because I want to see how the collars and stuff kind of come together relatively quickly. You can always do a PBR or something for that. But for this, I'm thinking something a little bit darker, not that dark. And honestly, the roughness is kind of messing with my brain. So let's bring the roughness up. This isn't going to be the collar. I'm just wanting to separate these at the moment. Let's create a folder to dump these in. I don't know why I called that bark, but we can say trunk. We can go ahead and add a black mask. And then we can actually select these. Come on. Come on. I guess it selected them. It's weird that it's not selecting all of them. Come on. Why are you making me angry? Do this. There we go. It's updated. But for some strange reason, it's still not using this. Oh, no, it's in there. That's strange. That should be working, shouldn't it? Why isn't that working? We have a black mask, we have our things painted, whatever. Let's go ahead and get like a green in here. Turn the roughness up a tad bit, and then we're going to Throw these in a folder. Oh, and that's another thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is add maybe some leaves to the vine at some point. Vine. Watch, black masks will work for these. Oh, and now they work. It just took forever to load. I think rainforest trees are a little bit more darker not really something i was imagining i'm thinking something like this but it looks like there's two variations and they have something where it's like completely like a i don't know what that beige I don't know. I'm not good with collars. You can make fun of me if you want, guys. Sorry, I'm getting a message. I don't know if it's my kid and needs to be picked up or something. So that's why every time I get a ding, you see me look at it. But to be absolutely sure. It smelt top ramen for just a split second. Which is weird. I'm trying to think how I can add some textures on this really quick. Do a fill. Let's go into in here. Is it this one? Looks like it is. Bark. Three. 
Wood. Wood. Grunge. Let's throw that in here. First of all, let's actually, let's mimic this color. Sorry. And then we can do this on a triplanar projection. So it actually goes up the base of the tree. And then we can also, you can see, change it. But it looks like the roughness needs to be jacked up a bit. I'm not a big fan. I want something a little bit more bulkier. So maybe we come in here and um, I mean, I guess I kind of like that. My balance is kind of gross. Could always reverse it too, but I'm not too much into that idea. And honestly, typically I'd probably make one for each one of these trunks so I can have it go up the trunk without it looking too bad. But like I said, we're just doing something really quick to test out colors. So I'm not too um, concerned with the current look of it. Although I wish these were a little bit more beveled. So let's add a black mask here. And let's go, where is it? Texture settings. Let's add a, an opacity, an opacity. Where is the opacity? I think it's because I have to change the main shader. No. Where is it? Render viewer. We got a. Yeah, right here. Where is the alpha blend one? Everything is working really slow. I apologize. Alpha test. There we are. And now we can come into the texture set settings and add a opacity channel to our drive. And then we can come into the layers like this and hmm. let's do a fill. I'm trying to think, yeah. Although, Sorry, I'm trying to remember how to do this all again. Let's do everything. Yeah. So we can do that. And then in here, what we can do. And if I remember correctly, yeah, okay. This is just gonna be really quick. This is all with my hand, so judge me or you can judge me i don't care um wow don't you love when that happens i don't even know why that's happening does anyone know why it's happening <sighs> that's why it's happening this is why you pay attention to what you're doing Let's go ahead and gridify these and I mean everything is done procedurally or not procedurally but I don't know what you would call it dynamically already so let's go ahead and pack these again and export it the X export edit re-import that fixes actually let us use this again and then bake the selected maps that's why that texture i think on there is looking a little iffy but i'm not using a mask layer so we'll find out this will get some <laughs> i 
I would have liked it if they had a little bit more of a cleaner transition there, but like I said, I really don't care at the moment. I just want to test this in the engine. Come on, finger and hand, you got this. But yeah, I believe, okay, the opacity is at one. I believe, and honestly, we could just do this like any big brain person probably would have done, but I'm not big brained, I guess. All right, we can do something like that. And here, let's go ahead and reverse this and unpaint all of this and then redo it. it. What is that? What is that? That's like the one part where it's clipping into the, and I could probably fix that just by merely setting it to only do that with said pieces. But yeah, then we come in here and we should be able to turn this down. Nope, never mind. And that's because we're doing that. Awesome. Why is it doing that? That's really weird. I've never had that problem before. Like ever. I've never had that problem. Like ever. Right. Hmm. There we go. Just gets rid of all this stuff that I want to keep. It's relatively annoying. Let's go ahead and go to the trunk really quick. Honestly, for some height, let's kind of I want this now that I have that to be a little bit more what's the word? Thanks. I can either choose to just have it. I'm like trying to find a way to make it just either negate or not and then that happens we get this right but I think what we can do here is turn this the size up on this where is the size it's not the size and it's back to the color I didn't want And tiling we can make a tile really weird or we can try to do something like this get the same color first and then just a tad bit yeah I'm not feeling this I'm not feeling this. I think if we're going to mimic this type of style, we kind of have to find a way to iterate. Uh, where is it? Some type of like thing like this. But even here, you could see you could see the divots in it. Like there's definitely cuts in the tree. Like there's bark missing. Regardless, let's uh, go ahead and change this. And just to kind of meme on the style, we do something like this. Let's 
it's not working how I want it to work. Cylinder, project. It's like, now I gotta do this. And then here I have to delete these. And we'll delete this one. And then in this, we can grab that grunge map and we can like, actually my bad is we got to delete this one as well. Just to really meme on the way it looks, right? <laughs> Actually, kind of like the way it's turning out. Funny enough. We just got to play with the uh, colors on the inside. We could probably get away with doing, you know, less. But it, it kind of looks funny. I like the way it looks, though. It's like a little charming, in my opinion. Something a little charming about it. I don't know. But let's go ahead and change the colors in these to something a little bit darker. Or a little bit lighter. We go too light and we get rid of Gives it a nice stylistic look. Yeah, it does a look a little bit more stylized, if you ask me. Um, let's go ahead and copy the color in here. And it, it's just literally like a little, a little bit of change. Boom. But. As a final note, I kind of want to take a gradient here and add a blast black ma black mask and uh, do mask editor. Invert this. Honestly, I don't want the uh, vines to be a part of this, so I'm going to mask the vines completely off because it's just, it's no bueno. Right. And let's go for a dark color here, similar to, actually, we'll just copy this one and then we're gonna go a little bit darker. Just so we can see somewhat of a major difference. Yeah, it'll all connect. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get this here and kind of like blend it out more. Let's uh... Oh, 
Whoa. Whoa. So if I put that too low, it just looks like sadness. I could honestly paint it on, but I don't want to do that. Let's see if I can add a filler filter on this, like a blur, and if that'll help it out a little bit more. Maybe if I copy this and then have one without the blur, so we can really get the definition on the inside. Maybe blur that out a little bit. I like when things just work, honestly. In this case, uh, it's not working too great. I need to move this one back or dechunkify it, one of the two. How would you guys handle this? Hmm. Regardless, let's actually get rid of some of this curvature. Kind of getting like a little under shade here. Hmm. That's funny. I mean, you can see a little bit of the ambient occlusion occurring right here. I really like the bark it reminds me of a naked toilet paper roll. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It's supposed to be stylized, man. It does look like a naked toilet bowl, toilet paper roll, stand bowl. But yeah, uh, let's export this out just to test them with the texture itself. Wham, bam, and now. I think it looks nice. Nothing nicer than a empty toilet paper roll. It means you had a good poo, man. That's probably why we're all looking at this like, whoa, it's amazing. Thanks. Now I can't unsee it. I know. And probably because of me, you can't unthink it now. I'm sorry, guys, for adding to the corruption. They should take me down already. Let's go to Moon World. Foliage, trees, texture, leaves, color. We already did the leaves, so I guess we'll just do the trunk. Trunk. Tree trunk. I can't do trunk. Or else I'll think of trunks and that just won't work. All right, let's export it. Come into Blender. And let's go into shotting. Go new. Up to trees. Texture, tree trunk. They look too half bad, honestly. I'm gonna use a normal though. Normal map. Why would it plug it into strength? That makes no sense.
This has got to be like something else. I swear, that's like adding to the fuzziness, the fuzzy wuzziness of it. See, if we go too high, it starts looking fuzzy wuzzy. But if we use that, then it just looks like that. Crazy. Why is it torturing me with this like weird artifacts going on guys? Tangent space, blender object space. It's like I can choose whether to have horrible normals or horrible normals. But at least now we can go like this and go link and then link materials. Oh yeah, and we have to do what like an where is it? Subsurface. The alpha, we must put the alpha in here. And then we can get rid of the alpha. If not, we'll just, I'll just, I'm gonna put this screen on this thing, just so you guys know, cause I'm that lazy. Opaque, alpha clip, alpha hoshed, alpha blend, alpha blended. What is going on? So we can't do that. We have to unlink these and just make a new one and then drag and drop this into here and then do it up like deal. Alpha hashed. I don't know which one's the appropriate one for this. Usually clip just works. Maybe it's because I'm using the wrong one. Oh, there. And I don't look too bad. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I kinda like it. Let's move little Judah over here because for some strange reason he just loves being inside the tree every time i move them yeah it looks sick i'm sorry i like it looks pretty cool to me i think the vines should be a little bit more pronunciated they need to be a little bit thicker we add some leaves to them maybe some flowers to really bring out the stylized appeal of this tree also we could probably do with um changing some of the sh the roughness of i don't know why this comes out the way it does maybe i just say no to because you know, it still looks fine and all that just to do that I think it looks good, guys. No, probably not, but I might replace some of the textures and the leaves. Um, I think it's a good idea to do that, but not like so much that you completely, you know, kind of, I don't know. But yeah, I definitely think I'll be changing it to these type of leaves. Looks a lot cleaner in my opinion. The only issue is the the logo models just have like basic materials on them, just basic colors. Besides the background. 
but yeah guys i think i'm gonna call it there i gotta make myself some food and get ready to pick up the kid here in about 50 minutes and we spent a lot of time testing this but i think it worked out pretty good so we should be able to replicate this relatively easy across all um of the rainforest assets but before i do that let's um export this first let's do the cursor to selected let's change this to the cursor cursor and then let's um, file export FBX some of it's gonna look kind of junky but it's all right. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to bring it in to Unreal. And yeah, I appreciate you coming out too, Rhea, and everyone else that made it out to the stream. It really does mean a lot. And for anyone out there who hasn't liked the video already, please make sure to like the video. And if you subscribed, I appreciate you. Um, just remember that if you're profile is set to sorry I'm trying to grab this as well if your profile is set to private we aren't going to see it when you come in here and subscribe to the channel so if you ended up subscribing thank you so much um, we appreciate you let's just I'm going to add it in here import all <laughs> We didn't bring in the textures. We do have the texture pages here. So I'm just gonna meme drag them in to the, and I'm probably just gonna do the base color and see how that works for this one. Let's go ahead and create a material matte. image or a texture with a texture sample yeah i know we don't have any we have no texture isn't there a way to yeah set that apply we'll put uh, a constant here we're gonna convert this to a parameter roughness I think in there we had like 1.7 I'm gonna plug this into here I don't know if we're gonna add the normal I kind of want to see how it looks prior to that so let's go ahead and come in here and create a material instance and we're going to go ahead and find out which one is the tree. Yeah, it does need those normals or it just looks kind of meh. It looks kind of meh. Kind of meh. Copy, paste. And then, um, where is the normal? Normal. It's really cool to see how much the channel has been growing. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It's a really surreal feeling. And honestly, it's so, it's really humbling, right? So I appreciate you guys for all the support and just being great people because at the end of the day, it would mean nothing if none of you guys were hanging out. So thank you and thank God. Uh, let's see, normal map. We're gonna update this to a parameter. So when I make the instance, it's just going to do that. And then I can use this for everything else and rename it when I feel like it's convenient for me. Um, 
main or base texture. And then I think that's pretty much it. We can apply that. This is going to now have in this material instance, we're gonna have these. And it does look a lot better, doesn't it? Just something about the pinches there. We need to find a way to add that into the height so we can bake it out or do something to probably add in our own black, um, like a mask just to kind of fake this. But yeah, let's do the rest of them and go from there. Let's go ahead and create another material instance and we'll call this trunk, I don't know. And then in here, we can just open this up and I believe just throw these in like so. Boom, boom, save that. Into rainforest and drag that into there. Look at that. And we should be able to drag that in here. Maybe we should do something with the opacity. I don't know if we have to change a particular color on this. Hmm, me, do we? Yeah, we're just going to make a green material <laughs> and put it on there. For now, I don't feel like spending much more time on this because I'm just whipping things up. And I don't want to. Hopefully, if I get enough time to work, I'll post my project in a day or two. I would love to see that. I'm hoping you do. You know me. I like the work I see coming out of your inventory. Ria. Inventoria! Sorry, it's a lame, lame, lame nickname. I regret it, kind of. But not really. But yeah, we're gonna do that, and let's just change the color so it's a little bit darker. On, It's a little bit more on the dark end of the spectrum. Definitely have to fix some issues with this. I don't know how I feel about it, to be quite frank. Hmm. It could be the roughness. Maybe we change, change some shaders. Let's look at it from a perspective point of view from a perspective point of view camera follow camera perspective save play yeah I definitely like it. like it not like I don't like it as much this way I'll say that much Um, what do you guys think? It's definitely better on this end. A lot more we can do with the tree. Maybe change the size. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad, but there's just some things that Hey, thank you, Michael Aman. Just subscribed. I appreciate you. Thank you for the subscription and joining the team. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of like this bulkiness. I want it to be a little bit smoother, right? Like this looks smooth. 
which indicates to me that this might be rendered. And honestly, we could probably get away with the render. And then using that image as something in the background, because that's what it looks like right now anyways. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it off at that guys. We're gonna save. Maybe we'll try something different, but I kind of like the way that looks. Um, for this particular game. Um, but I do like the way these look and I feel like it'll fit the character a little bit more. So if we go this style, we'll probably have to change the way Judah looks to really make sure it matches. Um, although it does look like it does somewhat decent right now. But other than that, I'm heading out for the day. Y'all have been great. Thank you for joining in for all the likes, all the subscriptions, all the chats, all the communication. Today was a really blessed day and I don't think it would have been as blessed if you guys weren't here. So with that being said, thank you all so much. I will be on again, same time, same place, same friendly face, 10 a.m. PST here on the channel tomorrow. So make sure to tune in. All right. But until then, God bless, catch you around and Jesus loves you. Bye, everyone.